As the saying, visualize before you analyze goes. Before starting data analysis, you should look at the raw data. If we click plot in the toolbar, we see we can make bar, 2D, and 3D scatter plots, in addition to multiple scatter plots that display several scatter plots at a time. In this case, we want to examine our sensory variables with a multiple scatter. When we click OK, we see a multiple scatter plot. Using this plot, we can check the correlation between pairs of variables. For example, we see that sweet and off flavor are negatively correlated based on their graphical inverse relationship, displayed by their intersecting plot. By looking at their other intersect, we see a correlation coefficient. The colors of these boxes indicate correlation, where red is negative and blue is positive. Color intensity indicates the level of correlation. This plot displays five variables at a time, and we can use any drop-down menu to choose different combinations of variables to look at. We see that when we make new plots, a new node appears in the project navigator for each plot that has been made. Another useful metric for spectral data is descriptive statistics, which we can access by clicking Tasks, Analyze, and finally Descriptive Statistics. For this, we will choose our spectral data. Consequently, we see the box plots for each of the spectral variables. Here we notice that towards the end of the spectra, the spread is getting wider and wider, indicating a growing variance in scatter effects. We can further examine this by right-clicking the graph and then selecting Statistics, followed by Scatter Effects. We can select which variables we want plotted from this drop-down menu. If we select all, we can see all variables in the plot. This pattern of widening towards the end is indicative of multiplicative scatter effects. Scatter effects arise due to interferences, for example physical phenomena such as differences in particle size. However, we are more interested in the chemical aspects, so this variation is not related to our problem of interest. This is an issue we can fix using transforms or pre-processing, which we will look at in another video.